I'm Sister John Dominic. I'm one of the founders of the Dominican Sisters of Mary, Mother of the Eucharist, and I've been involved with Catholic education now for over 30 years. One of my great privileges with the community has been able to develop the resources for Disciple of Christ education and virtue. And it really came from all the years with the teachers. You, you, you know the importance of, you know, why should we teach children virtue? Disciple of Christ education and virtue grew out of the sisters and, and working with teachers on trying to figure out how to teach children in virtue. I think about the, the school where I've been principal in Spiritus Santos Academy. I often say to people that this is our call to magnanimity our opportunity to be large soul, to do something greater for the church, for Catholic education in the United States. We can't be everywhere. We don't have sisters to be in every school, but this is a way that we can help deepen and further Catholic education in the United States. Right now, there's over 400 schools that are using Disciple of Christ Education and Virtue. It's my dream that Every school in the United States would, would have it, or some part of it, uh, that we can begin to have this lexicon, this, this language of virtue, because it changes the atmosphere. It changes the atmosphere of the school from a negative to a positive. When we begin to speak with words like affability and kindness and moderation and modesty and foresight and circumspection, this becomes a vocabulary that children, even in kindergarten, can understand. It does change the culture. We can't set the bar low. We want to set the bar high and set something that they can achieve, but we also show them how to live this and to model after the lives of the saints, but also to look at scripture and to the life of Christ and all the people that he encountered or all the people in the Old Testament and imitate that and to see how that can be a part of who we are and to bring this knowledge and this desire to become the person God's created you to be. This is why we want you to learn this because if you, if in order for you to become a saint, in order for you to be with God forever in heaven, you have to practice this heroically. For the seven part series for Disciple of Christ, Education and Virtue, we really want to touch upon why educate in virtue. Also to understand how virtue brings us this, this freedom for excellence, this desire, you know, happiness is living a virtuous life. And to study and, and take a closer look at the theological, the cardinal of virtues, and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And as we look at uh, Catholic schools, you know, what's, what's the Catholic identity? How can virtue make up the Catholic identity and help to shape the culture of a school? We want to look how to educate in virtue. We want to look at the real practical ways to do it. We'll take you into classrooms and see the sisters and other lay teachers that have figured out how to do this and the creative ways in which they've been able to use the resources and implement in that into their classrooms. Welcome to Disciple of Christ Education and Virtue.